Hey guys, Joe with DIY Cold Plunge. I'm back with an updated tutorial on how to convert your Active Aqua, Eco Plus, or similar style chiller over to PVC. I have a video that I put out on my channel a few months ago on this very subject, but since then I have learned a much easier way to do this. So if you're looking to upgrade the connections on your chiller, minimize the potential for leaks, have consistent plumbing from start to finish, or just make a more substantial and sturdy build, make sure to check this out. I wanna convert my chiller fittings from fittings like this over to PVC. So here's how we're gonna do that. We're gonna start with two three quarter inch PVC elbows and they've got socket connections on both sides, meaning these inside walls are smooth and two pieces of PVC pipe. These are cut to one and three quarters of an inch because after all is said and done, we will want the length of the PVC sticking out of the fitting to be one inch. And that of course means that my fittings are three quarters of an inch Deep. So you'll want to take your own internal depth measurement for your PVC fittings to ensure that your PVC length is correct. You could also use a longer piece of PVC, attach this, and then cut it later. No matter what, we want one inch after all is said and done. And we'll start by priming both the fitting and the PVC. Add PVC cement to both the fitting and the PVC. And then you'll insert, twist, and hold this as it sets up. You can also take a paper towel or a rag to clean up any excess around here as you hold tight. And again, you will want one inch of PVC kicking out at the end of all this. So there's the first one. We will repeat this for the other side. We have our two elbows with the PVC kicking out and we will want to take our fittings and take the rubber gaskets off. I'm just pulling these apart to get the rubber gasket and all of these three pieces apart and we can discard these for now. So you have your PVC assemblies, you've got your rubber gaskets and you have your two threaded caps for your chiller. The name of the game is to enlarge this hole so the three quarter inch pipe can fit through. If you watch my previous active aqua conversion video, I built this little jig using some scrap two by four, some siding and a few different hole saws where cut a hole the size of the cap, press this in and then use your other hole saw size to enlarge that hole. That requires a number of steps and the fact that you have the different hole saw sizes on hand. Otherwise you can get a drill bit like this for about 10 bucks. I got this one on Amazon. I'll link it in the description below. And so you'll attach your drill bit. And then we will basically just be using this to enlarge the, the existing hole on your fitting. And I'm doing this in real time, just nice and slow, holding that and drilling it in. And I'm just going bit by bit to make sure I don't go too far. And you can see it's starting to poke through that way. And so I'm actually gonna come in the other way too. We're getting closer. So there we go. After some trial and error, got that PVC fitting through. There's just a little bit of wiggle room around the edges for this to fit through, and that'll be perfect. And then we'll do the same thing with the other one. So we have our PVC fittings there. We've got our threaded fittings that came from our chiller with the hole that is now enlarged, and we have the rubber gasket. Now the name of the game is to insert your PVC like that and to attach the rubber gasket so it tapers down this way. So the bigger, larger end of this rubber gasket will go on first. So now we'll take this and just work it on to the PVC. Right now I've got it so the PVC sticks out just a little bit. There's a little bit of play back and forth with that, but this is basically what you need to do to convert your chiller over to PVC. So I'm just gonna do the same thing with this side now. And there you go. Now both of your chiller fittings are outfitted for PVC. Then you can take your Active Aqua PVC conversion fittings and install them on your chiller. You can position PVC whichever orientation you want. Right now I'm just putting these on loosely so we can refine it later. I've done this conversion on Active Aqua and Eco Plus chillers. It should also work on any chiller with a similar type of compression connection. It's what I used on the Eco Plus chiller, which was part of my bathtub conversion. This specific segment was pulled from my new stock tank plumbing plan that we'll release in a few weeks. It'll work on Rubbermaid stock tanks, galvanized stock tanks, basically anything that can hold water. And I wanna get this out there because Active Aqua and Eco Plus are both some of the most weather resistant and durable chillers that I've experienced. I'll be putting more information out on those in the coming weeks. So make sure again to subscribe and check your email below to get notified. We'll see you next time.